Hello, 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 everybody. And welcome back to Victoria 3. Uh, last we played this game, we were playing as the Japanese Shogunate, which I really enjoyed. Eventually, we wound up dying from a bone in the end of that one. Uh, but uh, this time, uh, again, we're going to be in a sandbox mode. So we pretty much are going to be setting our own goals. And we're going to go ahead and slap on that Iron Man mode. And I'm going to be playing as the good old US of A. Uh, and this one, I think I'm going to do pretty much what I did last time. And essentially, kind of put put all the major powers in their place. And once I feel confident as our position as head of the of the new world that we're going to make, I think... Uh, I think we'll go ahead and call it then, but that will be a long time coming. Uh, so Ohio and New York should have the most population right now for those things. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and start colonizing here. Get the uh, Manifest Destiny rolling. Uh, we also need to start making Texas happy with our general presence so they'll join us. And we need to butter up the Brits, so whenever we get to this point over here, they'll give us the rest of uh, our nation that is nowadays. And we are going to definitely go against slavery. Uh, we're going to try to push towards a communist government, because communism just seems so powerful in this game. I don't know what it is, but uh, you get some really big boost to your economy uh, for all that stuff. Oh, Texas is fighting Mexico. Uh-oh. Uh, no. Great Britain, you're good. Alamo? Alamo? Hello? Hello? Okay, cool. Oh, they captured General Santana. And they ended the war. Okay. But yeah. You can reach your hand, like, directly into your economy in this game. And really just take hold of it. So. Alright, cool. We got that going. Let's go ahead and bump these up two more times. And then we're going to be having issues with iron. I'll go ahead and check my market soon, but I know we're definitely going to have issues with iron. I'm just going to go ahead and set everything up to have the best thing possible. This will hurt our economy for a little bit, but that's okay. We will recover in due time. Uh, let's go ahead and keep setting our stuff up. Anyway, yeah. Communism, pretty powerful in this game. Uh, and usually, America, probably not associated with communism. But uh, in this game, it will be. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, cannons, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have some engine issues. Want to make sure we have enough people to work these. Prioritizing labor there. So, silk, we do not have. We need to invade somebody for that. But hopefully, we can get it from imports right now. Engines, we're having issues. Tools, we're also going to be hurting for a little bit. So we only have one tool factory in the whole country. So we'll start with like five, but it will upgrade itself. Right now. We're having issues with engines, tools, and iron. So tools, engines, and iron are going to auto upgrade. And that should be wonderful. I will go ahead and try to substitute it with other things right now. Uh, tools as well. I'm just going to try to make sure we don't go too far in the red. And that's the British market. It's got some good stuff going on over there. Uh, I will be kind of like zipping through these unless it's something I haven't seen before because I'm pretty used to playing it. But you can easily pause and read it if you want to. But I'm usually just looking right here at the results of what I'm doing. So the free trade party, that's the industrialist. I kind of don't want that to happen to them. The industrialist should kind of help us push policies we want. And we want to get rid of slavery again. Doesn't really fit with the communist kind of setup we're going for. People will not like that. We're going to need some wood, apparently. Let's try to get as much into our economy as possible right now. Because we are stressed. Let's go ahead and get some safe incorporated so we get some, some better stuff from them. I think it increases taxes, right? States that are fully integrated into a country. Ops. Incorporated states pay taxes, gain access to benefits, participate fully in the political system. Okay, so they basically cover people. So we want to get rid of slavery. Yeah, we'll get rid of people. Let's 
guess we're having super big issues with tools and motors right now. We'll go ahead and just mix these together. Again, I'll, I'll let y'all just kind of see how I build my economy for the first couple of times. And whenever I think it might be getting boring, I'll, I'll skip through it. But for now, we will keep, keep seeing me build stuff. Mm hmm. Now we're just kind of waiting here. I'm gonna try to do the manifest destiny route. I don't know if I said it yet, but kind of take the the main core land here uh, of what is America today. Oh, we're we need steel too. What is taking my steel? Uh, steel. How much we got? Just one. Okay, let's get some steel in there. Uh, and then we're just gonna puppet, I think, literally everything else that is not the American Core Land because puppets give you some pretty great money. Right now we have the Indian Territory, which is technically a puppet, and you'll see it gives us a little bit of money. It's not a super great state, but if we were to grab Mexico, they'd probably just give us like 64.4K or something, especially once they grow their economy over time. Uh, puppets can be beneficial too because they can also kick ass alongside you. I don't know if they get your tech or your benefits to like you researching them researching things that you've already researched, but they can be pretty useful in a fight now and then. Let's go ahead and just max out the construction zones here. After we're done grabbing most of that, hopefully this tool and steel thing work out. Well, motors are good, it seems now, ish, I think, yeah. Uh, motors are still a little expensive. What do we got? Meh. Texas statehood. Heck yeah. Alright, Texas is in. It's a part of us. Let's go ahead and reset that. And let's take a gander at anything that it reset in terms of production here real quick. Uh, uh, da -da 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 -da. No, it does not look like it right now. This still looks pretty normal. We'll get to railroads in a bit, but right now we need to fix our supply shortages. Oh, that's East Switzerland. Oh, of course it is. This looks kind of spelt weird. Yeah. Russia, you hooligan? Oh, we're also going to have to be nice to Russia. Because we want the Alaskan purchase. Uh, once we do that, we will have the American core lands pretty much taken care of. Man, we need a lot of stuff taken care of. Our economy is hurting. I keep forgetting that America starts like that. <laughs> it's just wasting money. We're going to have to tax a little over, over the normal taxation rate, which will make people very upset -y. People want to max slavery, huh? I say nay. I am horse. If we get secret police, that'll be nice. That'll that'll help us stop rebellions from happening. In case they do start getting out of hand, uh, we can basically sick the secret police on them and... Have them quiet them down all, all, all secret-like, I guess. Okay. Tools are doing better. We need to fix iron. And, and steel still, apparently. For some reason. <sighs> uh, my steel stuff is over here. We have modern technology for gunpowder. That will solve that real quick. This 
so over here in uh what is this Omaha? no Colorado duh Omaha what what <laughs> oh my gosh the states how do I not know the states okay easy peasy we're just steamrolling through Iron still needs to get fixed up. Steel apparently is good now. Let's check our market out real quick. Uh, coal is getting expensive. Iron is extremely expensive. And we could use fertilizer to fix that. Alright, so we took care of that. They're slowly going to take down a four score. We're just going to push our proposition for their surrender through, and eventually they'll accept it. Uh, let's go ahead and colonize the rest of Texas. Or Mexico takes a lot of it. Right. Nice, we got secret police. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's go ahead and do that. Bump these laws up. Provide rail transportation for our industries. Okay, eh. eh. we still need some paper. It's getting a little expensive. Wood for sure is getting expensive. There's a lot of wood to be had in America, ladies and gentlemen. I'll have you know. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just plop. Level 1 of everything. Like I said, the basic resources, I like to just slap them. Level 1 all over the place. Again, I don't know if I'm repeating myself. Because uh, I did try to record this already. <laughs> and like a genius, in OBS, I forgot to set an audio channel for it, so I, you were just hearing my voice while the game was completely silent, me zooming around. But uh, I like to put level one on everything, uh, mostly just to have jobs all over the place, so there's not a ton of unemployed people, and also it just goes towards your GDP, which gives you more money. And in case you don't want to keep upgrading your factories, in case you're building too much, just upgrade the raw resources. More GDP. More people working, more taxes. All in all, not too bad. Oh, gold's discovered. Oh, heck yeah. Uh, wait, what? Gold fields. South Dakota. Oh, only level one. Okay, well, that'll slowly go towards our money as well. Wow, we are losing cash. Something bad. Why are we losing so much money? Holy crap. Iron and wood, please. There's a blue. Okay, more oil prices. Wow. Are we about to make up the country? I think they Let's take a pause for the cause right here. We are starting to dip into our administrative stuff. So let's go ahead and fix our bureaucracy. Kind of mix it together so we have an even spread of growth. But we might have to declare bankruptcy, unfortunately. Uh, we are getting kind of close to our limit, and we are maxed out on a lot of it. Well, I don't want to do that right now. We could try to pause construction, but I don't think it's going to do us any good. Uh, I'm going to delay construction factories here. Oh, I think it's because I built more. Uh, yeah, those construction things went through, didn't they? Um, let's go ahead and let's get into that. Try to slow it down a bit. would like not to declare bankruptcy. That would hurt my feelings. But we need wood. Going. Right. Do we got everything selected? Yeah. And paper needs to be upgraded because we are getting more industry, so why not? What else could we do? Uh, coal. A little high in price. So. Okay, they capitulated. Very nice. Go ahead and get some coal going. Good for now, especially for wood, since we still have a bunch of it coming. Uh, iron is 
Not an issue right now, question mark? Okay. What is an issue? Die, groceries, trains, clothes. Oh my gosh, I just said so and so. Groceries. Groceries. What? I know we got some rifles. Um, what else was it? Law enforcement leveled up? Okay. What else was it? It was groceries, rail transport, and clothes. So we'll get some clothes stuff going. For now. Okay. And that, let's just keep this stuff for production. We want to increase our economy here so we can get out of debt and hopefully make more money overall and increase our growth. Because we're going to be a little vulnerable for a little while. And just in case I do have to be friendly with these guys, let's just keep making them our friends. The Oregon dispute. Double check. Colonies, everything. Everything's incorporated or proliferated. Let's go ahead and make sure the great six six nation. It's all about those Choctaws, man. Uh, I think that was the first peaceful surrender, relatively peaceful surrender, of the Native American tribes, Choctaw tribe. They're out in Oklahoma right now with lots of casinos and they're their own sovereign nation in America. Uh, very interesting legal dynamic that's going on down there. I always thought it was weird that they're a sovereign nation outside of America, but there was a lot of invading going on back in the day. Okay, Oklahoma. We've colonized and I can incorporate it into a state. We'd like to incorporate the citizens. Okay, little puns. We're gonna push towards the trade unions. And we're going to try to keep as many people free of slavery as we possibly can um, while pissing off the homesteaders. Let's go ahead and get that dedicated police force. Right now, this local police force is giving the southern plantation owners a decent amount of political strength. But if we have dedicated police, they will, I guess, be detached from that. Right now, the southern planters aren't super strong. It's the rural folk that are strong. And they don't seem to really eh they're neutral towards slavery they, 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 could, they could care less what's our market doing mm, chemical plants could be doing better groceries are fine that's fine. ah that's what it was patent stills okay just need glass Chemical plants, need some of those. One more, yep, okay, cool. So now we need glass. <laughs> it's a slow it's a slow build on everything. But we'll get there eventually. <laughs> yeah, lady, shush. Give up. All right, cool. Now we're going to colonize New Mexico. Wait, are we? Oh, right here. Yep, right into New Mexico. And Mexico itself is pushing into Colorado and Kansas, but that should be the last state that they'll push into. Okay, now we pretty much got it. not doing so great. Go ahead and mix it in with stuff. Try to cut down some of our spending by making this cheaper or more available. Uh, okay, we got our government administration stuff going. Increase secret police a little bit more just to keep anybody who's revolutionizing in check. Revolutionaries, those hoodlums. Brazil wants a trade agreement. You're good. No, sir, you're good. <sighs> Let's try to get some media on that. Thankfully, the law seems like it's going through pretty easily. 
Uh, if we bump that down, yeah, we're going to be in debt. Okay, we're just going to suck our citizens dry for the meantime. How is their standard of living? Not too great for the lower strata. <laughs> they are currently going backwards. Uh, upper strata, not too bad. Henry Clay. Is he really like a racist slaver? Yes. Retire. What was our leader that just retired? Um, what just happened? Oh, the law just passed. Okay. So they're not as strong anymore. Uh, I would like professional military, but whatever. Millennial um, exploitation. I want the most out of that. We want to colonize as much as possible. Not very communist of me, but whatever. And just like that, now coal is not fixed. Need a bit more. It is going a little bit down, though. I will actually bump up our construction sectors again. See how well we can take this. Hopefully decent. I'll do rural folks. They don't seem too bad. They're indifferent about slavery, but they don't seem too bad. We could also use a little more wood, which we are kind of getting. Oof. We are hurting again. Just bump that back down. <laughs> Just starve everybody in money. Honestly, the military isn't doesn't take a whole lot of money. We'll leave them be. back down to zero. That's great. Wood and iron is still expensive. Did I stop building iron? Iron. Fix yourself. Wood. I will leave beaks. There's a bunch in the queue. And there's a gold rush. And there goes that. Alright, well, no colonial exploitation for right now. They pretty much canceled it, said, nah, fam, you're good. What do we got? We could do oligarchy, which will push us in the direction of kind of like a single party state, but uh, not right now. It'll give the southern plantation owners too much power. I guess we just kind of have to sit around and wait. American dream, baby. Oh, why? Oh, see, we lost. For some reason, it declared uh, interest there. But we stopped colonizing. Who's embarking? That's why. Oh, no, but it's just. Yeah, we don't need tools anymore, or engines, I would say. Um, I doubt we need grain either. Or that. Or that. Or that. Um, or that. We do need coffee. I will keep the dyes. We might need those glows. Wood. Yeah, we definitely need the wood. Manifest Destiny. Uh, incident in Mexico, giving 24 infamy to the United States of America. King claims on all those.
I wonder why we don't colonize this first. Because it always seems that Canada never colonizes this area and then we just colonize the rest of it. Crystal glass. Look at us. How much more dye is that? That's, no, that's lead. Okay. Short John lead? Yep, thought so. Alright, cool. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of places for lead. Oregon border dispute. So, discover the Oregon Trail by mapping the American West Frontier. Oh. That's what. Some of the Democratic Party know that's a little bit momentum for them. So anyway, we need uh, we need to discover the Oregon Trail by mapping the American West Frontier. Uh, own all of Montana and Wyoming, and our relationship be pretty good with the British. So we need to map the Western Frontier, but we need to research quinine, whatever the heck that is. Uh, is that a society thing? Winning. Hmm. Ah, I'm just blind. I need this. So we need to research pharmaceuticals. And, uh, so we'll go ahead and hop on that. I'll jump right back to... Uh, that's just going right Oh, goodness. I um, should probably speed it up. All right, we're doing a little better economy-wise, I assume, since we're not on a shortage of everything. Good lord. Are we, though? <laughs> Let's go ahead and get the lead mines auto doing stuff. Okay, Wyoming is now a proper... No, we can form it into a proper state. So there's that. Trail of Tears. Sorry, peeps. need a lot more lead. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to need some more uh, government administrations. So let's go ahead and incorporate that into our queue right now. It's kind of what I do with Hearts of Iron. I like to uneven spread of like uh, military and civilian, and then an even spread of like synthetic plants and uh, all sorts of no, heck no, all sorts of uh, naval and synthetic stuff. Someone's trying to attack us. The Indians, the Indians are attacking. Triggers the event in Mexican secession. We need to own all of these areas, so we're essentially just going to go to war. Oh, sorry, give me one second. Sorry about that. Our new dog, sorry, freaking out. Um, but, of course, uh, we're going to have to course him by bayonet point because we don't have a whole lot of money. And a lot of them are going to die. I wish I could change our taxation so much. Oh yeah, we also can get political agitators. Um, slavery ban. I'd like that. And let's see if we can push it. We could, actually, wow, a lot of people are in favor of getting it. Okay, cool. We got secret police at max level, so I'm not too worried about it. Though they are going to try to trigger a revolution. But, uh, screw you. I'm going to suppress your political party. Okay. Wonderful. So now we got a revolution about to happen. But I think the most they'll ever get up to is 91. I think that's what the radicalism is. It seems to be an accurate estimation of how far they'll push until they'll stop. Stop. 
but hopefully we'll be able to pass in time. We have a pretty good chance of just going straight to the study phase. Uh, we still have more silk. Die. Let's try to reduce their chance of civil war. And y'all should surrender. Oh, okay. Let's get that interest going. Yeah, wait, who is this guy? He's an admiral. He's with the Southern Plantation owners. He did. Okay, cool. Is this guy with the Southern Plantation? No, he's armed forces. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I should have removed everybody who was a southern plantation owner, because generals uh, will give their political parties, depending on their rank and I guess how good they are, will give their political parties uh, political strength. Oof, yeah, we got our interest cleared, and we should be colonizing most of America right now. Goodness. Oh, we're enacting slavery. Water tube boiler. Uh, that condensing engine is going to help a crap ton for our mines that we're desperately needing stuff from. How is our stuff going? We're good with all that. It seems we're good with most everything, honestly. I am going to selectively clear out some stuff. Groceries need to be better and clothes need to be better. So let's really fix that. Most of them seem to be getting fixed anyway. Alright, where's the next thing? National self-defense. Mm. Whatever lowers it. They are pretty close to... Actually, no, they're only going to get up to 82, which isn't too bad, but that's still pretty close. Uh, it seems like if they were, like, at 80, uh, it'll advance still by, like, 9.6, and it'll jump almost really close to 100. Butt pucker over there, but... Indian removal. Again, of course, the butt bayonet. Same policy, same policy. Okay, Texas is now a state what it's like. Minnesota needs to be a state, and American Mexico also needs to be a state. Oh, come on. 70% chance to go to the study phase. What's going on here? Another mob approaches. I'll disperse the crowd. We have a military. Let's use it. National Guard deploy. Okay, we're in the study phase. So, slavery ban getting a lot closer. And once we do that, we'll have a long road ahead of trying to not die while we uh, make sure we don't have another rebellion trying to bring it back. Okay, North Dakota. There we go, incorporate things. Some more taxes from the citizens. Oh, lovely. getting there. Our economy's getting a little bit better, though we are on the max taxation and the lowest government wage. Which isn't super great. It is milking our lower lower strata. Too bad. Stop. Okay, people are fleeing the capital. I don't think so. Okay. Lowering our authority. It's fine. We're actually... Yeah, they pretty much hit their ceiling. So they're going to start going backwards in terms of revolution now. You see minus 2.7%. Their highest is going to be 67. I, I think it's because we were suppressing them for so long and our secret police are definitely helping. Yep, we're going to lower the southern plantation's owner's strength even more. 
Nice, nice, nice. Okay, well, things are going well. I think we're going to be able to get slavery without much of an issue. Or ban. Ban slavery. Without much of an issue. There's a blue. Come on, Utah. Join the Union. And if we can completely avoid the American Civil War, that would be freaking awesome. There's about to be not a whole lot left to colonize. And once we get the economy relatively sitting at a pretty place, I will, uh, I will go ahead and grab the rest of our stuff from Mexico. Go ahead and get some canneries going. We don't want these water tube boilers yet because it cuts the amount of people working there. And the less people that we can tax their paycheck, the less money we make. Uh, we'll only really need to use that whenever we get into an issue where we have a ton of factories and not enough people to work them, which happens in the late game. Especially with dye works. For some reason, the dye works, they just take a crap ton of people. No? Still going? Oh, yeah, they're going to go up to 60. Shrug. Shrug on that. 75% chance to go to voting now. Come on. I need to own all of Montana. Will we? Yeah, I guess we will. Yeah, Mexico didn't get up there, so we should. Okay, we're in the voting phase, so we're almost there. 75% chance just to boom, bang, ban slavery. The southern plantation owners were like, we want to get rid of slavery over a long period of time. And then I was like, well, we want to get slavery. Get rid of slavery now. To, uh, get a treaty port in Beijing. They have a humongous silk plantation in that area there. So, whenever either I'm going to puppet Mexico or get the treaty port first, I'm not sure. Once I get all my states back, of course. That's the first course of action. States will come back so we can get our uh, west coast and then we can have access to a lot of the area over there. Can also crack open the Panama whenever we get to that point. Okay, field work. Sure. It's a lot of the bison. What do we got going on here? Oh my gosh. Ugh. reserves. Can y'all stop? Cool. Our loan interest went down. Alright. How's our market doing? Still. Kind of bad. Groceries are still up there. A slavery's banned. Paranoid slave owners. Shouldn't be paranoid anymore. It's too late. Um, okay, migration control is not too concerned. Slavery has been banned. Um, secret police. Thank goodness they were around. Colonial resettlement. Can't really touch that still. I guess we're going to have to wait till the next election to do anything super important. I will stop suppressing y'all since you're pretty weak now. And we're getting better. We're getting better. How are chemicals? They're doing better. But I don't have to focus on... No, we're not focusing on it anymore. Okay. So it's just food and that's... And there's nothing here that we need? Nope. Yeah, our market's getting better. Okay. Groceries will keep doing. Because I want to be able to, for one, get government wages full and then drop our taxes so we're not murdering our civilian population. Poor buckers. But, uh, yeah, that was a good first episode. I think I'll go ahead and cut it here. Thank you all for joining. I hope you're enjoying. And in the next one, we are going to continue on our merry way for stabilizing our economy. Uh, basically getting the home four states back. And 
yeah, we'll in the next step we'll either be getting silk or Puppet of Mexico. And I think I might want to just do silk first. Because if I get a treaty port here, then I will like have just like a forever interest in China and I'll be able to mess with them and that general area. Definitely gonna puppet uh, Japan. But uh, I'll start by doing that. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you on the next one. Bye everybody.